One of the biggest local events of the year is just a few weeks away. And News Channel's Don Palminteri has a preview of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, the benefit to the community, and the stars who will walk the red carpet. Red carpet arrivals and thrilled fans will be back in the spotlight again for the 38th Santa Barbara International Film Festival. It runs February the 8th through the 18th with 52 world premieres, 78 U.S. premieres, and films from 43 countries. The timing is spot on, and it comes at a time when movie lovers in the community are still coming out of the pandemic and getting over the recent storm impacts. One of the, the, the reasons for it being is to encourage people, you know, to, to come back and be and gather. This year's poster unveiling at the Sullivan and Goss Gallery featured acclaimed artist Patricia Chidlaw's image of the landmark Arlington Theater, and not from straight on like you might expect. I like to do paintings that aren't the classic predictable viewpoint. So the top of the parking garage was a little more unusual, took in a little more of the, the city scene. I just love the lights in the tower, the, that orange and violet light is so beautiful. The gallery also has a series of Arlington paintings by Chidlaw in addition to the poster, which takes you from the Granada garage into the festival scene. It's actually the, the anticipation, it yeah. captures not fully sundown, not before the clean lights are on, is the anticipation of before things start. Even though multiple theaters will be in use during the festival, the Arlington Theater here above Victoria Street will be one of the main locations for special events and tributes. That'll be an economic stimulus, not just for this area, but throughout the entire promenade downtown. I'm hoping that the festival does its job. That Brings out, it brings out more people. Already many businesses are anticipating the crowds throughout the downtown corridor, and some will have special hours and special movie menus. This festival falls right after next week's Oscar nomination. And the Oscars are, are getting closer to where the dates are used to be. So I'm hoping next year the festival will be, you know, late January, early February. Among the spotlight stars will be Jamie Lee Curtis, who receives the Malton Modern Master Award. The Montecito Award honors Angela Bassett. And the Outstanding Performer of the Year Award, presented by the Manitou Fund, honors Kate Blanchett. The festival's lineup of stars and honorees is often loaded with Oscar nominees and future winners who often engage with their fan base here closer than at other events. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. Can't wait. Very